President-elect Donald Trump kicking off his thank you tour in Cincinnati last night, speaking to a crowd at a rally that resembled one of his campaign events. Mr. Trump talking unity. I know that if we set aside our differences, and we do have differences, we're a very divided nation, but we're not going to be divided for long. I've always brought people together. Now is the time to embrace the one thing that truly unites us. You know what that is? America. America. It's America. But moments earlier, the president-elect took a shot at Hillary Clinton, prompting the return of a familiar chant. Although we did have a lot of fun fighting Hillary, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Right? So, Gary, I keep having this image of a parallel universe where Hillary Clinton won, and there's definitely no excitement, and she's not happy. <laughs> well, there, was, there, certainly like, would, there certainly would not have been a, uh, a coliseum filled with people. Do you think that his supporters at all are disappointed that he's not going to end up locking her up as the chance that you know was said last night? And all on the campaign well, first, of all, first of all, you, you don't know what's going to happen because I think he's made it clear that while he's not going to be the one making that ultimate decision, if the attorney general decides that there's information and, 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 and evidence, he's going to go in a different direction. So it's not as though it's off the table. It's just that that's not going to be something he's pressing. He's been elected by this country to fix the economy, and that's going to be his priority out of the gate day one. Melissa. Um, but, but, the, but, the, but you think Hillary Clinton, no, Hillary Clinton could not get a, a victory tour, a thank you tour, <laughs> because there was never anybody there for the, for the rallies in the, in the first place. Gary, mm -hmm. she won this election with a popular vote of more than 2.5 million people, so let's not pretend that but she Julie, wasn't liked events, by more people no, 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 than Ju he was. But Julie, the events, I'm talking yes. specifically about the events. Yes, she got the people that voted for her on the East Coast and on the West Coast. So what? But those people weren't coming out to the Let me just say this, and, and, and Greg Gutfeld actually made this point yesterday, yeah. so this is not an original one to me. I can only imagine the opprobrium cast at Hillary Clinton if she won on quote-unquote a victory tour. Give me a break. I mean, what about, why don't we not talk about Donald Trump? Why don't we talk about Donald Trump's policies instead of talking about how great Donald Trump is? Okay. What a great time he had fighting Hillary Clinton. How awesome he is. I think I've he never did seen, talk about I've his never policies. Seen, I've never seen a more sore winner in my life. No, no. See, I think that what he's doing is very calculated in the sense that he feels that there's a lot of excitement and momentum, and he has right. a golden opportunity in the first hundred days to do a lot of the things that he promised. But that is contingent upon him keeping this excitement and this enthusiasm at this level. And if he just goes underground ground and sits there and makes his picks. I don't think that you keep people sort of at this fever pitch. I mean, there was one guy that they interviewed outside who said, you know, I told my wife I just had to see him one more time. You know, I've been to all these rallies and I'm like, you know, what is he? The Grateful Dead? I mean, they're like following him around like he's on tour. But it's but I think it's very clever and and it's in filled with intent that he's going to keep this momentum high so that he can really achieve those things in that first golden moment. He made the point. He said, Melissa, you're right. He said last night, we have we need you. I need right. you to speak to your elected officials, yeah. uh, the congressmen, to make certain that what what everybody wants gets passed. I mean, I, I look at it as, as again, it's a fresh direction. It's something that we haven't seen. We I'll, I'll, I'll make you happy. We haven't seen this in 16 years. I'm not going to say we haven't seen this in eight we years. We haven't seen what? You don't, we, think, Barack, we, you don't no, think Barack Obama had groupies following him around everywhere in 2008? Seen, Come on. We, yeah. we, we haven't I think seen, he, we, he did. He had this kind of excitement. But, but, uh, but we're we but but we seeing an attempt to reach out and, and keep the excitement I alive. don't know if we're seeing an attempt to unify, though, because on the one hand, you're talking about unity, and the other hand, you're talking about didn't but we have fun? But, so that's, but do you know what he is unifying? People like me. Because I was a very big critic of his, as you know. That's and good point, and he is yeah. really, maybe he's starting out with his own party, which is what I see with the Mitt Romney with some of these choices. And I actually do see more unity happening. I mean, right now, everyone, every liberal that I am friends with is still in a hysterical bell jar dark moment on Twitter, still going crazy about the election. So maybe he's just biding it. But is he keeping this friends. to just... I do have liberal friends, okay. if you can believe that. Of it is possible. She, she speaks to <laughs> everyone. Kidding, um, but, I mean, he didn't use the opportunity just to thank his supporters. He used it as an opportunity to go back and who did he point out? He took jabs at Ohio Governor John Kasich, who yeah. wouldn't support him. Um, in his state. Took jabs at the dishonest media. Um, so I don't know, should he be doing that in this this thank you tour where he is trying to unify, as he says? His base wants to hear that. Okay, we all know that if we were in a similar situation, let's all be honest with ourselves, if John Kasich did what 
we were, if we had our convention in that state and we were the nominee, and and that happened, we'd all want to say the same thing. We just wouldn't do it, but he would. But oh, I don't know. I might do it. But I like Julie's yeah, point about. I think I might do it. Yeah. President Obama had this kind of excitement back in 2008, and I don't think he capitalized on it. I think that Donald Trump learned from that, and he realized that it's a it's a short window I can that you only have to go out and do Imagine the hysteria in 2008 from Republicans of Barack Obama a month sure. after his election went out and said, "Didn't we have fun beating up John McCain?" Yeah. I can only imagine well, how he, everybody would say he how divisive his people he was. did do that. They just didn't do it at rallies. They did it in the press. They did they in didn't, interviews, they did they it in media, yeah. they did it in Washington, D.C. So actually, his hands aren't clean. No, no, Let's not give Obama me. a pass wait, wait, on this. Actually, they gloated so much worse we actually, than Donald Trump is doing now. Did we he actually, just happens to be doing it at a rally. Did we actually have Barack him. Obama stand up and say publicly, hey, didn't we have a great time kicking John McCain's butt? It never happened because that's uh, not what presidents do. Uh, okay. it's not, did, did he? I mean, give I, me a quote. Did he ever do it? Of course not, because that's not what presidents do. There's a clip you can find online with conversation between my father and Obama where he's like, John, I won, I won. My father says I were reminded of it every single day. No, I get His that. Supporters but were the beyond dirty. Supporters I could are tell one thing. you. I could tell you stories Megan, that would get me kicked off air. Megan, but I supporters still can't. are one I mean, thing. This man is about to become president of the United States. He's talking yeah, about okay. unity. Obama's hands are so clean. He's well, perfect. I, Nobody I'd ever did I'd, anything I'd wrong. That's why. That's why his <laughs> momentum continued. I'd love and to he lost it. so bad in his legacy. I'd, I'd, lo I'd love. I'd love to see that quote. I'd love to see that quote. We have to move on.